day two of the course. Um, this is January 26, 2021, and it is exactly 8 p.m. at this moment. Good evening, Mario. How are you? Hi, Elvin. How was your day? Uh, very good. And you? How was your day, man? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Nice. Uh, so you all the day have class uh, with English Corporativo or you have other uh, work? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have other I have uh, other job and other projects. Oh, so oh, I, nice. I, I only work with English Corporativo from uh, eight to ten, so I have the uh -huh. class with you from eight to nine, and then from nine to ten. Uh, and I, have, I have a question, Edwin. And you have the the, the class for nine to ten is always a TOEFL level two? No, no, uh, uh, it's pre advanced. Ah, uh, okay, yes. I have a question from Jonathan and Jason because I put in the in the request that I need to the class for nine to ten, but. I don't. I didn't receive my, the answer, so I don't know if we have other course in the nine to ten from twelve to level two, or only this is the 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 only time from the class uh, twelve to level two. I think this is the only class at twelve to level uh -huh. two. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I understand there is no twelve to level two from uh, nine to ten. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That's the reason why. <laughs> Because yeah, I, I, I thought that we have another class nine to ten from level top of level two, but I understand right? because I, but thank you for saying that because I don't I didn't receive the answer for Jonathan and Jason, so I don't know if they only ignore my ignore my <laughs> email or... it's a it's it's on the list of the of the priorities, like I tell you. To, 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 to. <laughs> Hi Irenia, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Erenia. Hi. Erenia, Hi. you're you're a t are you a, a teacher? Yes, I am. You teach English, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, no, you teach English. Don't worry. Uh, and do you? What grade do you teach? Fourth. Okay. I imagine. I imagine it was fourth <laughs> grade. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very clever. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> uh -huh. I just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was just checking. I said, "Oh, okay. It must be the English <laughs> teacher." Uh huh. And where do you work, I Irenia? I work in a private school. Is a Janita bilingual school here in Old. What is the name? Janita bilingual school. It's a small private school. It's not very recognized. But it's a good one. Yeah, I, I used to live in Lourdes, but I don't remember that school. I used to live in Via Lourdes. Uh, no, that one is, is like when you go to El Encuentro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After El Encuentro, you have the, you have the, the entrance to Las Arboleras. After that one, there's another uh, neighborhood that is called Las Esmeraldas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the school is in neighborhood ah uh, okay all right well that's good it's good that they have the schools that's close to you um and how are you doing are you working from home or what yes we are using this uh zoom mm -hmm. the online classes mm -hmm. and also different platforms okay and how have you felt with the transition for your students because fourth grade is a little bit more difficult Yes, but uh, the advantage is that I have the same group as I had the last year. I have the same students. Mm -hmm. We that, move together. That's better. That's better because it's it's easier to do already know ah, Andres. I already know uh, Andrea, me, Michelle, and all of these things. I, I know how to deal with them and also with their parents too. Exactly. Because I think one of the most complicated things is not working with the children, but with their parents. Because sometimes you need to, to learn how to talk to them and how to transmit the information in a, in a, a certain way. So. 
Yes, I used to be a, a kindergarten teacher. I used to, I also really? used, to, yes, I used to teach kindergarten. I taught first grade, second grade. I taught, I taught every grade, I think. Mm -hmm. Nice. You have yes. I was in, in the preschool level, but only for two years because I didn't feel it was my field. <laughs> it, for, for teaching in elementary, so now I'm, I'm in my field. Yeah, I think it, well, for me, it, it was just a matter of energy. The, the less energy I had uh, for doing the activities, the more I had to transition to higher grades. Yeah. Because with the lower levels, with preschool, uh, it was dancing and jumping and sitting down and standing up and let's make a line, let's sing, everybody. And then it, yes. you finish you the day. To, to a lot of things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's okay. When I was 22, 23, I had the energy. It's not a problem. But, you know, then in my 30s, it's like, mm, maybe I should go for middle school and high school. And then in my 40s, it's like, mm, maybe I should go with adults and, <laughs> and more professionals. <laughs> exactly. Little by little. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad to see we we have a few people here. We still have we have Dan, uh, Danielle, Irene, and Jennifer. Um, I'm glad to see you guys made it. I know sometimes it's hard to make it on time, so congratulations and and great making the effort. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started with our platform. First, just want to make sure did everybody have access? Is there anybody having any problems with the platform? No. No. Okay. Okay. All right. No. All right. Just want to make sure because I know yesterday we had a, a few, but uh, hopefully that was the only people and we fixed everybody else. Okay, great. Um, Irene, I, I see you have a picture of balloons. They look like pink. Was it like a, I don't know, a, a, a sweet 15, um, you know, something like this? Okay. No problem, no, Irene. Irene. Don't worry, Irene. I know you connected, but you went to go do other things. It's no problem. It's okay. It happens. Um, <laughs> it's okay, Irene. I was only asking about the picture uh, that you have on your screen. Okay. Hey, what is the picture of, Irene? My picture is in uh, Cheraton. Uh huh. But what is the celebration? I uh, it's a um, Christmas party on, in my last enterprise. Oh, it's a business. It's a business party. Uh huh. <laughs> ah, you look like you had a lot of fun then. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ah, you're welcome. All right. Well. And I'm glad everybody's having okay uh, with the platform and they're not having any issues. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you so we can get started and make sure that we're all working correctly together, okay? So really the idea, the first part, it's only a few minutes, it's maybe about five to eight minutes and we're gonna watch a few videos and it's only about giving us information of the type of questions that we have on the TOEFL exam. There are many different types. If we remember from yesterday, there are questions where we have to find the pronoun and we have to identify what they are talking about. That's one, right? The, the other one is the words that are similar in meaning or phrases that are similar in meaning to what they have highlighted. That's two. So it's kind of like finding the synonyms and also for identifying what is the topic. Um, in today's other videos, we're gonna start off with simplification questions. We're gonna watch it. It's not too long. It's like a, um, a little bit less than two minutes, I believe. And then if you have any questions or if you don't understand, then we'll talk about it, okay? Hi, we're still going inside the TOEFL reading section, especially the sentence simplification questions. Simplification questions. Simplification questions ask you to identify a sentence that has essentially the same meaning as a sentence from the reading passage. The correct answer choice contains the main ideas from the sentence in the passage 
but may leave out minor or unimportant details. It should restate the most important information in a simpler way. Sentence simplification questions are easy to recognize because the wording of the question is always exactly the same. Which of the sentences below best expresses the essential information in the following sentence? Incorrect choices, change the meaning in important ways or leave out essential information. The highlighted sentence will have both essential and non-essential information. Your job is to pick the answer choice that best includes the essential information and leaves out the non-essential information. Answering this type of question will require you to understand the relationship between the pieces of information in the sentence. Often, there's an important cause-effect relationship, or there may be a conclusion based on some evidence. So look for those same ideas in the answer choices. Here's an example of a sentence simplification question. Okay. In this, can somebody please read the so we can go through this slowly to make sure. Uh, who could please read that? Me, teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Me, teacher? Yes. Okay. A sample of simplification questions. And which of the sentences below best expresses the essential information in the highlighted sentence? Incorrect choices change the meaning in important ways or leave out essential information. The bulk of Kafka's writing was not published until after his early death from tuberculosis. It was not until after Kafka's early death from tuberculosis that the bulk, that the bulk of his writings was published. After the bulk of his writings was published, Kafka died an early death from tuberculosis. After, six after, Kafka had written the bulk of his publishing writing, he met with an early death from tuberculosis. D, an early death from tuberculosis, kept Kafka from publishing the bulk, the bulk of his writing. You should choose A, because this is the, one, the only sentence that contains the same information as the first sentence, First, Kafka died, and then most of his writing were published. Okay, thank you very much. The, as you can see in there, when we're looking at samples of simplification questions, really what we're asking, or what, sorry, what they are asking is for, just for paraphrasing or restating the information that they have, okay? So what does that mean? That means it's kind of like telling me what you understood. What's the main ideas? And you want to look at it. It says the bulk of Karfa's writing was not published until um, after his early death from tuberculosis. So we know that he died of tuberculosis and we know that the things are not published in, until after. So we look for something that is similar in meaning. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why we choose letter A. It was not until after Kark's early death from tuberculosis that the bulk of his writing was published. Now, they try to trick you by putting in the word mm. early, okay? And you think early, oh, but in the sentence, in the original sentence, ah, oh, okay, I see early. And this is the, the, the idea. You have to go back and forth sometimes to look for the information. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. It only has to have the same type of information. Okay, so if you're not sure, in your mind, try to create a timeline. What happened first, second, and third, okay? And this is usually an, uh, good enough so that even when they try to trick you by putting the sentence uh, in different orders, you can still understand what happened first. I have a question, Edwin. Yes, Mario. Uh, this is a sample of simpli simplification questions, right? Correct. But why don't have the question mark oh okay because this is a <laughs> the, the question mark mario is at the beginning and, and then it just gives you the statements so right before that uh, at the beginning where jennifer read is which mm -hmm. of the sentences be, below best expresses the essential information in the highlighted sentence 
that is the that is the the simplification question and then they just give you the sentences and uh, okay in here it's sentences sometimes it can be in simplification questions it, it can be another question it could be a, a, a real question and then they just give you the question in different ways but it's just the the way of the structure of this type of question that you're asked for okay okay all right so uh, are there any other questions for this remember the main idea or the trick really is think about what they are telling you in order create like a little timeline and from this timeline then think okay let me look for something that has the same things you don't want something that is the the extra information or the details for example all oh, the bulk um the early the no 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 all of this is just extra okay what i want to know is okay he died then there's writing after okay okay so i want to look for something of this maybe you can in your timeline you can include oh he died of tuberculosis so first tuberculosis then the death and then the writing which is the main ideas really just those two Okay, so what here are one of the tips that we have. Um, Mario, can you help us out, please, and read one of the tips to help us build our reading skills? Okay. One tip to build your reading skills look at the complex sentences or paragraphs and separate the main ideas from less important information. Non essential information can be things like example or text in parentheses or very specific information like numbers or, di or dates. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, really, this is what they're telling you is what techniques they use to try to trick you. And they, in order, the techniques that they use to try to trick you are giving you e extra information. For example, like the uh, uh, early or non-essential information or sometimes they try to make it look important by saying oh eh, he was the fourth the the fourth son uh, uh of seven children for example and, and and maybe it has nothing to do with the order of birth and that's when the important is to learn to identify what is important and what is not important and that's just a matter of practice. It's a matter of practicing to identify when something is important and something not. The best way that I can think of to help you is think about movies. In movies, you watch a lot of movies and you see a lot of things of information, and you, but not all of the things that you see are important. For example, there is a glass of water on the table. There is a, a plate of food on the table, but it's not important. The important maybe is the knife with the blood ah then this is the important part and the other is only there to trick you to give you uh, uh, to give you an idea but not necessary is necessary to understand okay uh, any questions or any comments for this part no question okay no we're okay yeah okay perfect Perfect. So that's one of the tips. Now we have just one more type of questions uh, or and then we begin our own reading practice. Okay. So let's watch this short video. Okay. Let's go on with the last type of questions for this course. The insert text questions. Insert text questions are designed to show that you understand the logical order of ideas in a reading passage. In the reading section, every reading passage has one insert text question. But instead of choosing from a list of four choices, like with most reading questions, you will choose on one of the four black squares to insert the text into the paragraph. Look at the four squares that indicates where the following sentence can be added to the passage. Here's a sample insert text question. Okay. Who could read this uh, for us, please? Hey, teacher. Me? May mm -hmm. I? Yes, go ahead. Okay, for each passage, choose the letter of the square where the bold sentence would best fit. For more than 2,000 years, 
nomads of Central Asia and the Far East have lived in portable circular dwellings called yurts. Letter A, these structures I, are highly durable and use resources very efficiently. B, they typic typically have a low profile and circular shape. C, this allows the wind to sleep around and over them so they can withstand very high wind. The basic shape is formed from wooden poles, crisp cloth to form a circular lattice frame in which a wooden door is set. Letter D, the outside covering is made of fabric that is supplemented with animal skins during cold weather. Roof poles are made from wooden beams that are tied at the lower end to lattice and are secured to a central roof ring. And the sentence to be added gives details on how the basic shape is made. It will follow the sentence describing the basic shape and receive the sentence that describes the covering of the basic shape. The sentence will logic, logical, logically, or logically, no, be inserted at D. Okay. Thank you very much. And I, what they're trying to tell you is that this is the other type. And the other type of questions that are very common in the reading section is where does this phrase belong where does this sentence go okay or, or and and the idea is that they give you usually it's four uh, well not usually sorry it's always four options and in the four options you have to choose so the best way is always first look at your sentence that you are given in this case is roof poles are made from wooden beams that are tied at lowest end to the lattice and are secured to a central roof ring. Now, maybe you look at it and you say, my God, I don't know a lot of words in here. I don't know what are our lattice. I don't know what are roof rings. I don't know what, uh, but I don't know what are roof poles. Okay. And maybe you, and, and you don't, and it's okay. But you understand that they're talking about what something is made of. Because you say, ah, okay, they're talking about they're talking about X is made from wood, okay? And they're talking about how it is joined because it says are tied, okay? So what you want to do is independently, if you understand all of the words or if you don't understand the words, you need to get the main idea and then look for the sentence before that if that's what they're talking about. In this case, we can see that in the before, they're talking about the same ideas, ah, the basic shape, um, they're talking about the wood. Um, maybe you don't know what is crisscrossed. It's okay. We see again the other and you say, ah, oh, this is very hard for all of these things. Yes, but in the other examples in letter A, B, and C, okay, we see that they're talking about the time, the location, uh, 2000 years, Central Asia. Mm, the sentence doesn't have anything about time and it doesn't have anything about location. So it's not letter A. And then little by little, you go for each one, identifying until you eliminate it. The hardest part is the time that you have, because in your exam, in the TOEFL exam, you're always with time. But because in reality, this is our skills that you can use. This is the same thing in other uh, uh, that you can use in other forms that when you have to think about, OK, what is the main idea for here? Where would this go? This helps you with your writing. For example, when you're writing a paragraph, when you're writing an email and you say, oh, I have to write a report. Uh, we are buying, we are shipping uh, for the client, for the customer, and you're not sure how to organize. Just think about the sentence before and make sure that it goes flu fluidly. That means that it goes from the same topic to the next topic. If they are to, if they change, then it should be a different thing, okay? Any questions up to here? Okay. No, will we? Yeah. Okay. So the, the main tips that, especially for this type, is you have to be clear. Sorry, it always moves. You have to be clear with the pronouns. Okay. You have to be clear when they're talking about the he, the they, and what they are talking about. What does that they mean? What does the it refer to? Okay. So that way, when you're reading and they say, oh, uh, uh, all of them, 
who is the them? Is it the people? Is it the object? Is it the things? Those are the things that help you to make sure that it's easier for you to be able to do these things. Okay. So as you can see, these are some of the common pronouns that they give you. Before we continue, are there any of these pronouns that are not clear? Any of them that you confuse or you're not sure when to use them? For example, maybe you confuse when to use uh, he and him or uh, she and her or this and these. Are there any of these pronouns that are not clear? Okay, all right. If, if you have a question about it, feel free, don't worry. Um, you know, it, it, you can feel free to, to ask in the middle. It's the important is that, that for you, it's understanding. Okay, so okay. we, I'm gonna show you what we're going to do. This is the idea of all of the type of questions that you have in the reading. As you can see, we have several sections. We have one, two, three, four sections here, and all of them have a reading as well as several questions. So, okay. For this part, we're going to make uh, smaller groups. We're gonna have little breakout rooms. Um, have you, I, I don't know, in the previous course in the TOEFL or in the previous classes, are you familiar with the breakout rooms? Are you familiar with the smaller rooms? Yes. Okay, great, great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have, we're a small group today. We're only six people, so it's wonderful. We're gonna have two groups of three. And in those groups, we are going to practice the first exercise, okay? Those vocabulary questions. So, and there are two paragraphs. So that means that um, two people are gonna read. One person is gonna read the first paragraph to the group. The second person is gonna read the second paragraph to the group. Not only are you going to read and answer the questions, that's obvious, but also you need to discuss it. You need to talk about it. For example, when if Mario reads, okay, Mario read, okay, Mario is not going to explain, okay? Then imagine Mario and I are in the group. If Mario reads, I am going to explain what I understand, okay? I think or I believe I'm not, or maybe I'm not sure. And I say, it's okay, I'm not sure, but I think, or I don't know, um, but from, from what I understand, it can mean maybe it's something positive, maybe it's something negative. That's the important. The important is to start explaining, even if you're not sure, even if you're not uh, positive about what it's about, you need to make sure that we start expressing ourselves, okay? So uh, then if I read the next paragraph, Obviously, then my partner, maybe Irenia, is going to explain what she understands that I read. And then together, this is the idea. We try to get everything together to make sure that we understand. Remember, we have the computer, we have the cell phone. In this moment is no problem. If we don't understand the word, first we discuss it. We talk about it. We try to understand from the context. But if all of that does not work, it's okay, we use Google, we can try, we don't use translator, we use for synonyms, antonyms, we can use uh, the idea for what is the, the definition, uh, uh, a dictionary. But what we want to do is feel safe with our English, not have to go to Spanish to look for it, okay? So one more time, first we read, uh, then we paraphrase or we explain what an, uh, our partner explains, what, what they understand. Okay, then we try to answer the questions and make sure that we understand the vocabularies. If we don't understand the vocabularies, we discuss it with our partners. And if nobody understands, if I am there, you can ask me. If I am not there, then you can just look for it in, uh, in a dictionary or in Google. It's okay, any questions? No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Yeah. All right, let's begin.
Irene, you, are you okay? Can you remember only you have to uh, put accept and you can enter the group. Okay, if you have any questions, just ask me then Irene. You can write it in the chat or just raise your hand. For the exercise, do you have the, the platform open? No. Oh. I, let me try the platform. What exercise is? Check. Um, what number is the number one number, number one. one number one ah. vocabulary questions yes okay reading section uh, when you have it you can share screen if you, if you want. It's opening, it's opening, it's opening, it's opening. It's low, it's low, downloading. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, okay. Irene, are you okay? Teacher, when you make a, when you make a, a group, my internet is very bad. Okay, okay. I didn't uh, okay, I, I imagine because I, I, I saw that you had some, some issues. Um, the best is uh, when you have bad internet, don't use the video, only, don't put your camera, only use the audio this helps because it reduces the consumption. This is one. Okay, that's good. Uh-huh. So don't worry about having the video because if you put the video, it's going to freeze. <laughs> and then you are not going to, to hear or practice anything. It's better. Uh, Danielle is going to try to share the screen in one moment. And then you look at the screen and only speak. And that's okay. Okay. I'm ready with the article. All right. May I read or what? Yes, yes, go ahead. Okay, I read. The fork, which did not become. Oh, the fork, uh, they, the, these utensils, how can uh, help us to eat more uh, properly? I don't know. But this is, is very interesting article because I, I didn't know that. <laughs> How about you, Jose? What do you understand about the, the article? <laughs> or the first paragraph? <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, like you were saying, uh, it's a surprise for me because I uh, thought that the whole European is using a fork and a spoon for ever and ever, I don't know. But it's in that paragraph, the paragraph just started in the 18th century, I think. Just the people that live in that in that system just using a spoon for eat everything that everything food. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a little bit weird, <laughs> but it uh, I can use a spoon for almost eat everything. Yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. yes, yeah, that's that's I understood about that. About that. Uh, the fork. Uh, when they when they um, create the fork to uh, to to took the 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 meal and cut a uh, a little piece of uh, the food and after put in the mouth. Maybe because it's a um, 
they didn't use the, the hands the hands to to eat the food yep no yes jennifer i hear you I, yes i, I can yes. hear you mm -hmm. yes mm. yes is uh, they use the the different utensils uh, in in the table in the when we eat the food it's an interesting um paragraph i didn't i i didn't uh, i don't know uh, the the words more so but i i search in the internet in the english dictionary and the motion is just a, a little piece mm -hmm. uh, yes a little piece to, me, to meet more so. That's right, it, and it's actually just a little piece of any food. It doesn't have to be meat, but it's just a little piece of food. Of food, mm -hmm. yes. And when we uh, answer the, the first question, the word utensils is closely meaning to, um, is cutlery. Because cutlery is about the many kinds of utensils. Um, for example, the knife or the fork, including the, the spoon. Yeah, I understand this part. Not all the words, but just this part. And if I don't know any words, I I try to to search in the dictionary. That's good, that's good. Remember, in this moment, what you're going to do is you are discussing it, checking if you don't understand the word, uh, discuss what you think is the meaning, or you can ask your partners, hey, what is cutlery? Is is it like a spoon? Is it a fork? Or And then with your partners, you try to explain the different words, um, or maybe you, maybe you know the words and you help your partner and you explain to them. Okay, that's the important part. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Cecilia, are you okay? I see you're pretty quiet. Sorry, teacher. I I just come in. Uh, I don't know about this subject. <laughs> no problem. This is wonderful because Jose or Jennifer or Mario can explain to you and they can use the opportunity to practice their speaking and explain the story and everything. So I, I let them help you. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, Cecilia. Hi. Good evening. We are. Session for scooping up the bite of food. The the word scooping up is closest in meaning to which one? A, B, C, or D? It's picking up. Okay, let's try with this one, picking up. Okay, let's move to the number five. Daniel, the word sign, pronunciation sign. Time is close. What's the thing meaning to? Help me check again. What is time in this carbon time serve the same function at the bowl of the spoon? The bowl of the spoon. Uh, letter D. D bowls. D D bowls. Yes. Okay. Let's <laughs> try. <laughs> okay. And uh, number six says the word persist. Wow. It's closest. I think continuous. 
letter A. I'm going to submit it to check our answers. Okay, sending. <laughs> Hey, la, mi, la mía está mala. La mía está mala. <laughs> let's, sí. let's do it again. The number two is, is, is not correct. It says the word adept is closest in meaning to. Um, look, look I, I, actually, I don't even know the meaning. Look at Sorry? Look at the tip, remember the tip is you go back to the article and you look at the words before and after it to try to get an idea of what it could mean. Okay. okay. So if okay. you don't if you don't know the word, it's okay. Go back. Look at it. What are they talking about? It, is it, are they talking about food? Are they talking about a uh, the the utensils? Are they talking about the structure? What what are they trying to talk about? And go go back and forth. Ah, I, I see it. It says, in this position, the dinner would be more adept at securing a piece of meat against a plate while the curing took place. So, let's see. I think it is... Um, proficient? What about the rest? Don't don't worry. It's it's, it's not only her decision. It's all correct or all wrong. So everybody agree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I, uh -huh. Okay. Proficient. Yes, I I think so because cultivated. I it not make sense for me. I think it's proficient. Okay. What about you, you? Hi, I, I, I agree with Daniel too. <laughs> okay. For the meaning, it's in relation. Okay. Okay. And the number three, what do you think about the word morsel? Morse, piece, spoon. It's here. It's in the one, two, the third, the third word that is highlighted. Yeah. Says once the meat was cut, the downturn spoon would not have been suitable for picking up the morsel. Suitable for piece. For picking up the morsel. I, I think if you are eating and you are picking up your food. Peace. Um, what do you think, Iwin? Spoon. Spoon. Spoon is a is a is a new word. Spoon. And you, Daniel, what do you think? A piece, piece, a letter a piece. <laughs> letter a. Yes. Okay. You, Personally, you, I think that it, that is letter C. Because uh, in the text it says you you are picking up the morsel. I think morsel is like a synonym for for food. I don't food. know. <laughs> let's let's well, start with letter A first, and then with the other ones. Okay. 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 Let's see. Let's see the number five. The word times is closest in meaning to. I'm going to go back to find the word times mm, service in function and carving on the if you plates. want you can read the part that mentions time okay uh, the fork kept the food against the plate more adequately and its carving time served the same function of the bowl or the spoon uh, the carving time serves the same function as the bowl of the spoon, like the like the part that is useful to 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 pick up the, the food. I think. What do you think about this one, Irene? Which one? Number five. The word time.
I think it's, it's talking about the, the small parts that a fork has. Like uh -huh. the, the divisions or the, the little, I don't know what is the name of, of those. Action will bring the spoon into the correct position for scooping up the bite of food. Ah, because they lift the, the food with a spoon or knife. And scooping up is a, a good position to 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 buy the food. Yes. Or to eat the food. Yes. Scooping up. Putting a good position. Uh, to the eat the food. And the water depth is closing meaning to I don't know how do you think. Uh, agreeable, the B. And the one morsel is closest to meaning to, like a teacher say, a piece, a little piece of food. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the phrase scooping up is closing in meaning to packing up or picking up? Picking up. Picking up, yeah. Picking up, yeah. Maybe. And the word Chinese is closest in meaning to time from place. Hmm. Bow. What is the meaning bow? Inside to it. It's a, the a recipe. Mm -hmm. Bow. If you were uh, used to serve salad, for example, yes. a big bowl. Mm -hmm. Around container. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the word tiny is crossing a meaning to um, Do you know the meaning is to brown? Brown of of two or more long sharp point. Ah, or more. The prong, one of two or more long sharp points on an object, especially a fork. Oh. What do you think about the meaning? The closest mm -hmm. meaning to to time, tiny. Uh, tiny. <clears throat> Powerless. A part of an object designed for holding, moving, or carrying the object easily. Mm -hmm. Yes. And another word blade. Let me see, blade. The flat part on a knee or similar to or weapon with a very thin edge used for cutting. What do you think about the word? Chinese is closet in meaning to 
recover time start the same function at the pound month of the home. The custom of shifting the four from the left hand to the right was no longer necessary. Normal. Uh -huh. Normal. The, the Mr. Gore in, in the Esforzarba, or I don't know, the person of the room, in the prison. Mm. Also, Vilma. Vilma, too. Vilma, uh -huh. too. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe I'm, I'm going to text her to ask her why she's not here. Or in, in other chat, or maybe. Mm, could be, or or maybe it it because of the of the way of uh, filling all the forms and all the 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 paperwork that you need to do different than the the last time. Uh, can be. Okay. I, I think okay. this TOEFL could be harder than the the normal courses because we have to. To be very wake, wake, how is it? The fear wake up, wake. awake, awake, mm -hmm. awake, mm -hmm. yeah. because we have to to make a lot of sense. <laughs> uh -huh. Because normally is 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 uh, the result one by one is one, but in this case I I I I'm watch I'm checking that we have to to think difference a little difference. Uh, maybe maybe it's because of the vocabulary they use. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and have you nice. planned to take the TOEFL? How what? Have you planned to take the TOEFL? Or if not? I take, I never take, I never take the, the I never took the TOEFL. Okay, the exam, but, I never take. But, but, I, but are you planning to take it? Yes, I, 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 I will try, but after the, maybe we will have three levels, TOEFL. Mm, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure. No, yes, or two, I'm not sure. I, I believe it's three levels. Uh-huh, I think. Like like the other courses, all the courses, the, the, the structure is for three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, the same mechanical, like this one, reading, writing, Think the exam. The, the, no, the next courses. The yes. Level three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I, and how was level one for you? How uh, level one was not the same. But I, 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 I couldn't check this platform, this level. But the last, the TOEFL one, mm -hmm. uh, we we have to read again, and we have to record in some some exercise too, but I don't remember if we, we don't have a, a we didn't have a, a, a lot of new vocabulary. Ah, uh, yes. But in, today in this... is the, the first, the first classes in, mm -hmm. I'm a little lost. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. This is, <laughs> this makes you work more, it makes it, that makes you to practice more. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. There you go. And that's the idea, right, Daniel? The to practice more, to read more, to to improve. Yes, that's right. This is the idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll just wait for the other members uh, from the other group. I think they were still finishing also. And the idea is for you to, to learn techniques that are going to help you on the exam, but also within your life, because the it's similar, maybe not for the questions, but the techniques for uh, understanding, reading comprehension, interpretation, making sure you have the correct information is all of the same techniques. If, you know, if somebody sends you an email and they say, oh, uh, please make sure they are included and you need to make sure that you need to be clear what they, what the pronouns are referring to. What is the day? What is the included? What is the main topic? Things like that. Okay. Yes. So, 
before we, we uh, continue and check, are there any things, any words that you couldn't decide with your partners or that were not clear? Don't be nervous. It's okay. That's why we're in class, right? A lot of words that we had to search it in, in <laughs> Google. <laughs> okay. Because even though the, the answer in the platform, the, they have a, like a synonymous, but I didn't understand the synonymous. So <laughs> even the, their answer, we, we Google it with, with Jennifer and Jose. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. That's good, Mario. That's good. We were just talking about that with the other group as well. And it's very important that uh, I, I was explaining to the other group that in this level and also in the next level, you are going to have a lot of vocabulary that uh, you need. You don't have to memorize, but you have to understand how to interpret it, how to understand it, how to get the main ideas of what it could be. Um, and is going to help you not only for the exam, but also in reading comprehension in general. But it's important because if you are planning to take the TOEFL exam, if you are planning to, to study uh, or uh, apply for a scholarship or something like this for a university, this exam is what they're going to require. And the structure that you are seeing today or in, and the structure you're going to see in the next few days uh, or in the next few weeks is the same as in the exam, is the same format. The exam is really, really, really difficult. It's not an easy exam. Do not think, oh, it's like the pies. No, 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 it's, it's not like the pies. It's, mm -hmm. it's a lot harder. The reason and what makes it so difficult is the uh, amount of vocabulary that they give you. It's a huge variety from simple vocabulary, from things in your house, to complex vocabulary for scientific, for mechanics, for history, for all of the different things. Because you have to understand that in the universities and in the education in the other countries, it's not like in El Salvador. It's not like in Latin America. Here, when you study, uh, I don't know, um, engineering, when you study uh, uh, education, when you study mechanics, when you study technology, uh, uh, IT, you go to university and you study this. But in the other universities, you do not study this. This is part of what you study. This is like the main classes. All of, they don't give you all of the history and all of these things. This is part of the classes. But you also, as an obligation, have to study the other things, science, mathematics, psychology, philosophy, history, and, and I'm going to be a doctor, but I have to study those. Or I'm going to be an engineer, and I have to study uh, computer information technology, programming, or, or maybe, an, uh, um, I don't know, networking, or security, or uh, for example, for my career, I had to study history, mathematics, cooking. I had to take cooking classes. I had to learn CPR, the, the first aid for the Red Cross. And, and I'm a teacher, but it's part, of the, the, in, it's part of the programs that they have. So I tell you, that way you understand why you have so much vocabulary. Because when you go, and because the TOEFL is for this, the TOEFL is to apply for this, to apply for uh, for a scholarship or for the language proficiency or for going to the university. And at that level, you need to have a big vocabulary. Is different than, hey, Mario, how are you? Irene, how was your day? Daniel, what did you do last weekend? I, I listen to you guys. All of you have this. This is the common vocabulary. You have this. But what if I say, hey, Irenia, uh, what do you think about the, you know, the, the war between Greek and Sparta? Uh, what do you think was the, the, why did they start? Huh? What? I, huh? The, the, the what? And, and, and this is the idea. So don't worry about it. If, if you are interested, take a moment, go back, read it, look for pictures. It, the best way is when you see, for example, if you see prongs, if you see scoop or you see this new vocabulary, if you don't understand the definition, look for the image. It's going to help you a lot in the image. Okay. All right, guys, like I said, we still have Wednesday and Thursday and it's, it's a lot of reading. So don't worry. I, I hope to see you guys tomorrow and we'll do the next one and we'll go little by little. And that's the idea. That's how we improve, little by little, every day. Okay. Hey.
Thank you, Edwin. Okay. Thank you, guys. Have a nice night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. See you. See you. Bye-bye.